Okay. Let's settle in here. Relax a bit. <laughs> the pure, the pure amount of work. Man, I, I missed my epitaph already. <laughs> Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So I'm guessing that, uh, fucking pack is, like, not live anymore. I didn't look it up, I just went to take a piss. Mmm. Scroll past the glyphs and see if anything's active. I don't think there is. Inspired Warframe codes. Yeah, don't care about that. Like, why would you? Show expired codes. Like, what the fuck? How is that helpful? Yeah, I'm guessing it expired. I don't see it on the list of expired codes or anything, but definitely not seeing that code anymore. I go to let's see. Fuck sake, man. Every single one of these fucking websites you could just Scroll through a whole bunch of fucking hot garbage and filler bullshit where they just just get to the fucking point. Like, it's so stupid. Right, I'm gonna try that one code one more time now. Pull it back up. W F I'm pretty sure I typed it the right way though. W F G C X twenty twenty one. Invalid. Okay. I give up. <laughs> pretty sure that's right. I mean I could check the golden hand or equation, but does that matter? Yeah. Watch that one be working still. Of course it is. Bitch. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, if we get a profile, it should be able to get my thing on.
Another question is, do I want to run Glyph or do I want to run, uh, what's the name that they gave me with that pack? The arms dealer is named Darvo. He's being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. How many Grenier slaves died to build this place? Darbo is out for himself, but he is sympathetic toward the Tenno. The Grenier must have found out. The Ascaris is working, breaking through. I see the shadows of your mind. Don't let Fora distract you. Focus on the mission. It's our only hope of figuring out this link with him.
This is the prison block. If you can avoid detection by the warden, it may be easier to get Darbo out. Bypass the security so we can enter. Search these cells for Darbo. He has to be here somewhere. Extraction is ready. Remember, your success here depends on getting Darbo out of there, alive. The Lotus must be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the corpus. Now, the Ascaris has burrowed deep enough to give me influence. Shall we see how your shields work? The Ascaris is letting Vor control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. I see the operator can enable the mod segment now. Ordis will be delighted to show you how to upgrade your arsenal. May I recommend fire? Operator, I've linked the mod segment to your arsenal now. No need to thank me. Uh, upgrade your warframe now. Go to the arsenal to see the weapon upgrade options you have. An excellent find, operator. There are hundreds of these mods to locate. If my calculations are correct, there are exactly a lot of possibilities. Install the mod before we can continue. Uh, thanks for helping me out back there. I'm in your debt, and I often pay my debts. I recognize that device. It's a parasitic restraint. We corpus use something similar to keep our robotics in line. So, to settle my debt, I give you a very expensive blueprint. For free! Because I like you. <laughs> and well, a lot of my customers don't live long with these grenade dogs chewing up the system. Here, use your foundry to build a countermeasure device from this blueprint. Good luck. Vorus Ascaris is burrowing into your warframe. I'm worried it will affect your mind. I can't lose you, Tenno. We must restore the ship's foundry immediately. A nearby ore extraction colony will have the foundry technology you need. I am certain they will share it with you. Its location has been added to your navigation console. We may have a problem. The colony is unresponsive. Get to the surface so we can see what's going on. I was afraid of this. The Grenier are here, and I cannot find any signs of living colonists. You still have a job to do. Find the boundary on the park right now? <laughs> Hard to tell, to be honest. We will see. This 
This was once a prosperous, independent colony, until the Grimir arrived. The Queens fear you, but I will show them. Their love will return when I deliver you to them. Tenno, are you there? The signal cannot be boosted any further. Cody, for a runner of time. You know me? Good. Mm -hmm. Your ship is one step closer to completion. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. Soon the worm will be in your spine, and I will control this warframe of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Your foundry segment is ready for installation, operator. Will the operator build us at the launch replacement? <laughs> Foundry restored. Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me. To expand your arsenal. Oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. Tenno, I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Zevlon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. You can go straight to... Operator, I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship, Zevlon, when you can afford it. <laughs> That one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources, if you can stand the cold. Darvo's intel suggests that this outpost is host to several rich supply caches. Raid the caches and take what you need. This outpost belongs to the Corpus, a secretive but extremely powerful merchant cult known to be working with the Grenier. Darvo will fill you in. Legions of robots, mindless automatons, freaking lasers. These guys are bad news, but they're also loaded, which is why you're here. Keep moving, there is more here. Technically, this is stealing, but don't let that bother you. 
the Corvus aren't exactly beacons of moral fortitude either. They sell anything to anyone. Don't get me wrong, I like profits. A lot. But I don't sell my wares to the damned Grenier. That's unforgivable. I think the, the biggest key is getting far enough so I can earn money. Like as long as I can earn credits, I can transfer, you know, my mods over. Like, and then it's just, then I'll be happy. You know, let me have my fucking mods. I can earn the warframes. I can earn the weapons. I can grind all that stuff up. But my mods, I have to have my mods. Like that's pretty good. <laughs> Got out. Okay, don't need to kill this shit. Let's get out of here. Don't want to be wasting time getting caught up and murdering every little thing. Because then I'm not going to get much done today. And if I'm serious about doing this, which I am, I gotta get some work put in. I can't help myself sometimes, but can I buy the glaive? Oh. Good work, but you're not done yet. Even a regular glaive would be alright right now. Cash. You almost have what you need. But, yeah, yeah no. It'll take too much time. I mean you could probably buy an you actual glaive, just a regular ass glaive. Probably had like a 75% or 50% off coupon. I would buy an epitaph right now. Because <laughs> it'd already be made up, you know? But, you know, it's not worth it. It would just be something nice to have right now on this character. Time for extraction The Ascarus has reached your mind and rendered your lotus mute. You will return to me over your own free will. You are mine. Operator, are you all right? This part of your journey is over, Tenno. I admire you for your struggle, but now, <laughs> I am part of you. Lotus, do something. Help the Operator. We, Grenier, are okay, it's really anyway. strong, but with a flaw, we are diseased. Rotting, sterile. But now we have you. Operator, do not abandon me again. Build the countermeasure. Mastery rank one, a hundred and fifty black for a regular grave. Glaive. It's fucking insane. I did this for my love, my queens. They will forgive my insubordination when I deliver you to them. Our love will be reborn as we feed on the divine blood. Our children will flourish without disease. And I will die at last, at peace. Father! Grandfather! What do you think you're doing? What a waste! Ten of them. Good. You managed to disarm Boris Ascaris. I thought... I thought I lost you. Oh no. The Ascaris had a tampering failsafe. It's burrowed into you and armed itself. We'll need to find Vor before it detonates. 
Get to navigation. Boarding a Grenier ship to access their personnel records will be the fastest way to find Vor. Operator, what are you waiting for? Ordis assumes finding Vor implies violence? Hello, Operator. May I suggest you access navigation and save your life? For my sake. I miss my ship. I miss my weapons. I miss my pet. I miss everything already. My warframes. This plain ass ship. <laughs> the systems on this Grenier Galleon can be made compatible with your ship. Find and extract a navigation segment. You have murdered my sons and disgraced me before my queens. But soon, the Ascaris will complete its task and bring you to me. The bare minimum, give my mom. Should be good. I think I'll, I'll start to have a lot of fun then. Because like I said, I don't mind grinding everything up. But the mods, oh man, I... <laughs> no chance at all. No chance at all. But I gotta make the money get a chance for that. That'll be good. Good work. We have what we... Wait. Tenno, coordinates in this nav segment put the galleon on a direct course to a convoy of colonists. You have a choice. You can extract now, or you can disable this galleon and save the colonists. Saving the colonists could jeopardize this mission. I recommend you head straight to extraction, but the choice is yours. I'd be a hero, right? The Ascaris failsafe is attacking your systems. Your shield capacity has just been halved. You're wasting precious time, Tenno. Destroy the fuel injectors. Are you fucking kidding me? I just did the whole fucking mission and this kid fucking quits and I have to start over? When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. Why do I have to be annoying? <laughs> it's going through all the shit in my head. I have to sit there and grind all over again. 
it's not so much the grind a lot of times, it's just the waiting for shit to build bullshit that eats me up a bit. Not gonna lie. The systems on this Grenier Galleon can be made compatible with your ship. Find and extract a navigation segment. You have murdered my sons and disgraced me before my queens. But soon, the Ascaris will complete its task and bring you Over here, hit my me. operator button, like, let me out. <laughs> in this nav segment put the galleon on a direct course to a convoy of colonists you have a choice you can extract now or you can disable this galleon and save the colonists saving the colonists could jeopardize this mission i recommend you head straight to extraction but the choice is yours you've reached the ship's power systems destroy the reactor destroy the fuel injectors the Ascaris failsafe is attacking your systems. Your shield capacity has just been halved. You're wasting precious time, Tenno. This ship has escaped. I admire your noble intentions, Tenno, but you must survive for the future of the system. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. The detonator is charging up. You need to bring Vor down. He thinks he can capture you again. Don't worry. I will be with you. Let us show him how much you have learned. Are you ready, Tenno? Facing Vor is the only... Yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. Let's go. <laughs> this is our chance. Vor has been stripped of his elite guard. He is vulnerable. Take him out. This is our chance. Vor has been stripped of his elite guard. He is vulnerable. Take him out. I could have saved the Grenier, but they cast me out. Maybe it's not too late to draw your divine blood. <laughs> I will put you down like a rabbit cobra. You wish 
has just disintegrated. It's as if it was directly connected to Thor. You're done here. Go to extraction. Target down. Assassination contract complete. Great work, Tenno. I wonder if I could uh, already pull characters, like could I pull my uh, this account over into like a Hydron and level it up? It's got 92k for some reason. Maybe I got it from that pack or something. But... Oh, is gone. Long, you on. are free now. But your work has just begun. The origin system is in chaos, and it needs you, Tenno. Vor was just a part of the Grenier machine, and we have seen that the Corpus have begun amassing weapons of their own. It is a dangerous time. Ordis will gladly assist the operator in cutting a bloody path in whatever mission they choose. We will be at your side. There will be others, too. It is time for the Tenno to return. So, what mission will you do next? I'm not going to be able to trade, I don't think, regardless, right? I don't know. I don't think I... Do I need to be in the clan to trade? I don't think I do. As long as the other person is in the clan, I think it's fine. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to be able to afford shit anyways, I don't think. Can I take it to the index? I might be able to take it to the index. Hmm. What is that? If it's the party leader, I should be able to take it anywhere I want, I think. And if I could just take this account into the index and start earning it money, like the, all I want to do is get it enough money to transfer my mods over. Once my mods are over, I'll be fine. It's just it's a lot of money. A lot of money to do that, I bet. Lordis is happy. Everything angry. else, fine. I think it might be off, to get it done, but. Mod thing. Damn, that's loading screen. <laughs> I'm not used to loading screen. I'm sitting here and looking at the PS4 like, holy crap. I don't have it. I don't think I have any platinum. Yeah, I don't think I have any platinum on my main either. I spent it all, if I remember correctly. One second here. Let me start a form on it. Check and see if it got that Smita Kavad out of, uh, let me farm that up. Yep, it was a Smita Kavad, so that's cool. I actually did get the right one. So that's kind of cool. 
I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to be on that account, but hey, well, you never know. So at least going to help this one out a bit. Okay, so if I. First off, I need to add my account. That's a front, I guess. So. Add. Send request, not the TTV, yes. Notifications, not the wants to be your friend, yes. Okay, we are now friends. So, at that point. Set myself an invitation. Join. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is take that account to my clan and see if I can trade it. And how much is it going to cost for mods and all that stuff? All that's important. I need to know. Hey, how's it doing, 159? Good morning. So let's take it in there, see if it can trade. Unable to retrieve dojo data. Please try again. What? Cancel. Let's try again. Uh, approve. Unable to retrieve dojo data. Maybe I'm not allowed in there until I'm, I've played for X amount of time. Okay, can I take it to... Well, I would have to switch characters for one, but... Can I take it to Hydron? I would think so. Choose some keys. Let's switch over to something we can carry. So now let's try navigation. See if I can take it to. Oh, you know what? What if I could take it to a uh, relay? Wouldn't that let it me trade them? Let's find out. Man, the loading screen difference is insane. Like, my PlayStation is still on the first loading screen. <laughs> Can't even skip. Skip Semantics, and that's a PS Pro. Alright, so. So, how would I even trade at that point? Um, look it up. Pretty sure you can, but I could be wrong. Let's go to the bar. The bar? Okay, so if I hit, where the hell is it? I don't even know where Moves Bizarre is exactly. Is it close to the Dry Box, Darvos, Sanctuary? Um, 
I don't know if I'm being honest. Let's try fast traveling. Bunch of dots over here. I think. I don't, I'm not sure where the hell the bazaar is. Where the hell is it? Um. Uh, where's my news? I guess I could have also searched up why I wasn't able to go in there. I have to go to Mars and the Navigation Council. Huh? Uh, like I said, it's not going to have enough money to really trade anyways, but still. First off, let's see if I can bring up that Dojo thing again. Oh, can I invite him into the... First off, let's see if I can take it to the table. I don't know how to invite to the dojo really, as far as uh, like invite them into the clan. Dude, oh, is I need to figure out how in the hell. Unable to retrieve a dojo. Solo mission and re-enter. Somebody said could fix it. Um. Well, let's do this. Let's do navigation. Let's try the Mars thing. Although I should just go level it. That seems more important right now. I don't think it needs anything right this second. But I guess I'll just be. The Ruse Bazaar, that's where we want to go. Unable to retrieve Dojo data again because it thinks I'm going there. Cancel. For Christ's sake. Let's try it again. I did not queue for the Dojo there. I queued for the, queued for the Bazaar on Mars, but let's try again. The funny thing is that if I just went ahead and, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not on. Okay. That may be the whole problem, if we're being honest. 
So let's try and take him to go level up. I just, it's Our a shame that I missed that affinity this booster code on the Defend the cargo Sorry. until reinforcements arrive. Why does it feel like I'm looking over my workshop? I feel like it's that. Anyways, I can always carry on the, this account. Um, but this account will die at the palace, so I need to go over here, crouch. Tell you, like, if I had my, I could have my daughter play the new account, just kind of wander around like, while I just do the good account, smash it. That could be an option as well, just to speed things up to everything. Down to try to kill my fucking alt. Not cool. Not cool. I know there's a way to look over the right shoulder and to the left, so I'm doing it right there. What the fuck button is this? It's like it's a toggle, but...
reinforcements available. Do you choose to leave now or continue fighting? Switch shoulder to use by pushing H, but uh, H. Oh, okay, it works. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but uh, is it gonna be the same on PlayStation if I just have a keyboard in? And it did. Okay, so what I need to do. I don't know. <laughs> like, I would like to have my daughter on the new account and me just carry it through shit quickly but I don't need to if I just get it high enough to fucking uh, it looks like you can already do a mastery so that's good Let's just get that knocked out because then I might be able to go to the dojo a tenno must be a master of all their weapons prove yourself with your primary weapon Kill all the enemy and put the type of thing. Don't know why I was even testing it. It's literally Master Rank 1. So, test. A Tenno must be a master of all their weapons. Prove yourself with your primary weapon. Excellent work, Tenno. Now we need to get this started, huh? Maybe. Slowly but surely get all that. Conditions. Okay, let's see if now that it's mastery rank one, if it'll let me take it into the dojo. Um, 
baby be allowed. It doesn't seem like it was an allow for a moment. It seemed like, yeah, it's too dark and wasn't allowed. But anyways, let's do cancel. Cancel. Okay, then try taking it to Marie's Bazaar. Cause I believe, I've never tried to trade there, but I believe you can. Which is bars. So, um, is there a certain place we need to go in here? We did. Oh, if I go, like, set up shop. Let's see, I come over here. Hopefully, we away from everyone for the most part. Oh, I have to be within trading area. Okay. Which I'm sure there'll just be a whole ass of people. I don't know if that's the trading area, right? Yeah. There you go. So let's go over here. Set up shop. Select items to display. What are the most important mods? That's the question. Let's say... Um, like if it's gonna run Bolt, let's say, I would want the mods I have on, basically, right? Vitality, continuity. Question is, how much will it cost to trade them? And should I focus more on like Plus, is Dumble even tradable? I don't think it is. I mean, isn't that something you get from a quest? Either way, let's go have a look. Mastery rank two trades. Out of luck. Set up shop. Yeah. So you could be mastery rank one to come here, but two to trade. That is bullshit. Okay, so that was kind of pointless. Which I mean, I guess it just gives me time to get up money and hopefully get some money, anyways. It's possible. It would be a lot easier if I could just transfer shit or gift it all to him, you know? Of course, you can't do that. Okay, so let me think here. I mean, all this shit needs leveled on it. It's just gonna take fucking forever. I can um, go back to my ship, buy a fucking infinity booster on this account. Once I got that pack and have some platinum. A new quest is available in your codex. It looks like I have. Oh, that's probably a blessing. Okay, let's get an infinity booster. like a pack. Uh, 
think there, I thought there was a booster bundle. bundle. Accessories pack, 90 day affinity booster, 90 day resource booster, booster, Kavat incubator upgrade segment, and Kavat starter kit. Jesus, tons of platinum. That's Operator, expensive. did you hear that? It said <laughs> cosmic background radiation is a riot. <laughs> I feel like gold, like uh, money is money, but resource and uh, affinity would be nice, but I bet you that's expensive. Yeah, 60 bucks. Like, and then there's an $80 one. The $80 one gives you 2,625 platinum. Gara Prime, Astilla Prime, Volmus Prime. The $60 one gives you 1,365 platinum. A 90 day affinity booster, a 90 day resource booster. Combat incubator upgrade segment and Combat starter kit. Sabella Prime Team masking kit. I don't even know what that is. Castellan Prime Combat armor. I don't know what that is. Katena Prime Ephemera. Like, what? That's $60? Confused by that. Prime gear is a rare as it is ancient the exclusive prime access will be available for a limited time only through prime access. But you're basically just paying for 90 day boosters, which sounds great because they're 90 day boosters, but fuck man, 60 bucks for 90 day boosters? Like, how does that even translate? Like, uh, a 30 day booster is 200 plus 200 because you're getting that so 400 so that's 1200 platinum right there yeah all right four eight nine ten eleven twelve for 90 days so 1200 platinum let's say you're just going off of that how much is 1200 platinum in the store Go to Game Hub. So if you were just buying Platinum, I tried to buy 1200 it would be... Well, there's not even a 1200 really. Oh, shit. 1000 is 50 bucks. Okay. Yeah, 1000 is 50 bucks. So it's really not a horrible deal when you think about it. I just... I mean, it is the price of a game, so it's not like we do the worst thing in the world, but I'm sitting there like, eh. It's too fucking much. It's not, but it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, like, I'm sitting here looking at it, it's like, eh. And you're getting platinum as well. Uh, that's probably the saving grace of it when you look at it, just looking at it. 
I don't know, because the big pack, at least it's giving you prime Warframes and shit. Like, the, the $80 one, you're getting 2,625 Platinum. Gara Prime, a still a Prime, Volnus Prime, exclusive Gara Prime glyphs. I'm guessing a still a Volnus or Weapons, right? Because I've never heard of them. <laughs> so at least you're getting already made up things and a shit ton of Platinum. But that booster, like I said, the boosters, that's $1,200, that's $50 plus $60 in boosters, basically. Yeah. 50, 60, yeah, 60 to $70 in boosters alone. That's the one thing I'll say for that Prime pack. I mean, look at this Prime. So they basically, there's a whole bunch of different Prime Vault packs and shit here. Prime Vault Unsealed. Then you got Prime Access. See, I feel like if I'm going to make a new account, I would really love those boosters, but that, it's really hard to convince myself to spend 60 bucks on a game. But it is just 90 day booster. Like, I don't have to worry about resource booster or affinity booster at all at that point. I can just play. And you get a big chunk of platinum. Like, you're talking about, you're getting 60 bucks, 70 bucks in platinum. Yeah, you're getting 70 bucks in platinum. Two 90 day resource boosters and some weird ass Kavat shit. Yeah, I think I'm buying it. I'm not gonna lie. It's a new account. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm not paying for a big game. This is, uh, the one game that I know I can get it out of is Warframe, so 60 bucks, whatever. It's the price of a brand new game. Is where it is. And then basically I am uh, not spending anything else on this game. Ever. So you could have gotten that Kavat segment and starter kit in the little tiny pack as well. It's just you're getting those, ni those 90 day boosters are the big thing. Alright, on that note, I think I need to re-log to make sure that take effect. So I will be right back. Close out the stream.